the trumpet, the deep two, the hunk twin, the loud metal violin. Whatever you call it, the trumpet is one of the most popular and influential instruments out there. But when you look at it, man, where do you even begin? It looks so easy. I mean, <laughs> there's only three buttons on it. Why do some players, like professionals, why do they look so strained when they play? They got that red face. Shouldn't anyone be able to just pick it up and go boop 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 Well, just like the Transformers, there is which leads me to this crash course on how to begin playing the trumpet. Whether you are a little baby 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 goo 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 or sharp tongue curmudgeon, a high class born with a silver spoon charlatan, or a well, more a homeless man wearing nothing but a loincloth who picked up a traffic cone and is trying to play it, by the end of the video you should have a basic grasp on how to begin playing trumpet. Well, pull your pants up, sit up straight, cry into your pillow, and scream why in the middle of a thunderstorm. Here's how to play the trumpet. But first, a quick note. You're probably wondering, why this guy? Why learn trumpet from this guy? So here's a very brief little bio about me. I was born as a baby. I started playing trumpet when I was like 10, and then I have not stopped since. I got a degree in music, specifically in playing this instrument. I've had plenty of students in my time, very beginners to advanced college student level players. I'm not the biggest expert. I don't have my doctorate in this. I'm just making this video because I thought it would be fun. And I think that there's not a lot of good videos on YouTube for the very, very beginning of how to play the trumpets. This is not a comprehensive guide on how to play trumpet. This is the very, very, very basics on how to play the trumpet. And if there's anything that a teacher tells you or uh, like your private teacher or your, your band teacher itself, if they tell you anything different, follow them. But take what you can out of my video. I'll appreciate it. Thank you. Step one, get the trumpet out of the case. This one, I know, I know, I get it, I get it. Duh! But I will be darn tootin' if people don't do this correctly. Start by opening your trumpet case flat on the ground or flat surface. If you don't, you will spill the trumpet out of its case and it will fall on the ground and you'll feel like a freaking dumb bum. It is like if you open a can of soda sideways instead of right side up. Ah, oh, sweet. plus the clink and clanks of that honking piece of metal should make you squirm. Step two. When you see people play, it looks really easy, like, oh, you blow into a thing with three buttons. Well, that must be so easy. Wrong. Sound is created by vibrations. Like um, when you pluck a guitar string, for example, the string itself vibrates. When you sing, your vocal cords are also vibrating. Other wind instruments like uh, like clarinet and the saxophone, they vibrate when you blow into a piece of wood. That's why they're called wood winds. <laughs> Included in this family are oboes, bassoons, well, flute, despite the fact that the flute doesn't have any wood. But trumpets don't have wood. How did you do? Well, you actually create sound by buzzing into this little pipe thingy called a mouthpiece. The trumpet is a member of the brass instrument family. Some other instruments are like trombone, French horn, and tuba. You know, you can think of it almost like a, a good old hoot, 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 hoot family. You got the daddy tuba, the mommy French horn, the old brother, euphonium, middle child, trombone. And you got the baby of the family. That's you, mid the trumpet. We don't talk about the extended family too much. They are called this, seems kind of obvious because they are made of brass. And to produce a sound, you're gonna need to buzz. And the first thing you gotta do is you need to pretend like you're a lawnmower. Go like this. Be the lawnmower. Eventually you put two together and you put the mouthpiece up to your lips like this. Hold it very gently. You don't need to choke this thing because if you choke it, it's gonna stop the vibrations. 
is. So instead, just hold it very gently like so. And simple as that. Now, it's not going to sound quite like that when you first start, but keep keep trying at it. Try to create any kind of sound. It could be whatever it might be, but it's a good start to kind of figure out what creates sound when you play a brass instrument. Little piece, big piece. Step three, assemble the trumpet. Assemble the trumpet. Step four, how to ha trumpet, how, how to hold, how to hold the trump, how, how to hold the trumpet. So now you have this big piece of metal. Don't hold it like this. Or this, or this, or or this, or especially not this. First, you take your left hand and you put your thumb right in the hook that's closest to you. Then you put your pointy and middle finger right in that spot right there on the other side of the valves, and then the ring finger and the ring hole. I put my pinky on the bottom, but honestly, what really matters most is as long as a finger is in that little ring hole right there. Whatever feels most comfortable, but this is what I prefer right there. Then you take your right hand, which includes your pointy, middle, and ring, and then you put it right on the valves. Pointy, middle, ring. The pinky goes on top of the hook. Don't go to in the hook. Trust me, it creates pressure. Then you put your thumb in between the first and second valve uh, right there, right in the middle, and you hold the trumpet like so. Look at how serious I look about it. I mean it. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, so serious. And then you play. Do -do -do -do. Pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. Step five, notes, man. So now that you have a very basic sound, now it's time to try to play a note with me. So I'll play, then you play. This sounded a lot better in the script than in actual context. <laughs> uh... You know exactly what your lips do when that note comes out by playing it many times. Uh... You try. <sighs> Sounding good. Oh, shoot. Step six, D and beyond. See, and now you get to use the valves. Whoa, you did it. Uh! So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna play the first valve and the third valve, this guy and this guy. Numbered like so. All right, so the next note you're gonna play is D. So you haven't oiled your valves, huh? Well, neither have I, so let's oil them together. First thing you gotta do is you gotta twist this guy. Then you pull up, there's the valve. Wow. Now. You get some valve oil. This is ultra pure. Very good. I am not sponsored or nothing, but this is good. I like Heat Ming, which is Hetman's valve oil. Um, there's that one with a rocket on it. That one's okay. Um, blue juice. I hate blue juice personally, but that's not everyone's opinion. You know, just use it. Get a valve oil. Get something. Even have it. Get it. I have this guy. This is not a water bottle. This is from many years of use that I'm down to the very bottom here, but. Then you take it, and you just liberally apply the, the oil, like so. Blah, 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 blah. And you do it all over. Yeah, kind of move it around, get that thing all lubricated, because this, this is gonna make it not stick. So, then what I would recommend doing is, well, two ways. You can either put this back by either looking at the holes and saying, oh, that goes there and try to put it in the right direction, put it in the right spot and try to like click it together. It always clicks together, by the way, unless if you have a weird trumpet. Um, then from there, you click it, you try playing into it. 
Now, if it doesn't make this sound, if it makes this sound, for example, one second. There's nothing you can do with it. Well, that's because you put it in reverse. You, you, that's because you put it in backwards. So what you gotta do is you gotta lift it up, twist it just a tiny bit, and have it relock in 180 degrees rotation. It'll lock, it locks automatically. So, ooh, that feels so much better. And that's how you oil your valves. La, 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 la. And that's how you oil your valves. Oh no, my trumpet went pee pee. All right, so D, that is going to be valves one and three, like I mentioned before. So push down the first valve, the third valve, and play that C again. Try, try playing, just, just, just try playing that C again. Tr trust me, just try it. That's not the same note. That's a different note. Oh, and why am I doing this thing? Well, okay, so lift, it's not witchcraft, it's just you playing the trumpet. So now let's try playing a C, then a D. So, open. One and three. Now, side note, when you play D, to make it in tune, you gotta pull this guy out just a little bit. This is the third valve slide. That's why you always have one of these fingers in there. So I would say probably around, whoop, like that amount. That'll be good. Listen, this is the difference in sound. Ugh. Much better. Now, let's play them back and forth and back and forth, okay? Here's a video of my cat. Now, let's add another note. We're gonna add E. So E, instead of one and three, you go one and two. Just like that. Okay, so try playing that note. Whoa, it's a little higher. Give it a shot, trust me. It's gonna be really nice. You know what, let's add one more note to that too. Let's add F. F is just the first valve. Simple. But here's the thing, in context, listen. It sounds pretty good. Pretty simple. You already know how to play four notes. Let's see if we can add one more. Let's see if we could do G, which is open. Whoa. Step seven, that pesky G. So C and G have the same fingering. Why? That's because of the harmonic series. Doi. Well, it's not so doi. Basically, by putting more air into it, maybe tightening the lips a little bit, you actually end up producing more notes with just one fingering. So, for example, C and G. Now here's the strange thing, it actually even goes higher. Witchcraft. It's just thinking forward with your air rather than thinking up. Now, it's not gonna come right away. Instead, you just gotta keep on practicing it, but experiment around. Right now, the goal is to get the G. So try, try that, try. See what you can do to try to figure out how to play that note, and then it's gonna make a huge difference. And now, a few pieces of advice got to keep good posture. So a lot of people, they start slacking when they're playing, they're gonna go, Ooh. you know, like it kind of turns into this. No, think of yourself as like a proud, you know, trumpet player that's calling in the cavalry. You know, you gotta be strong, be in the front edge of your seat, 
feet firmly on the ground and have yourself like you're, like you're performing. Trumpets are known for being loud, but they also can be quiet. That's why you need to practice both ends of it. So play loud, but then play quiet as well. And if anyone ever tells you you can only play loud, that's not entirely true. You just need to practice everything with a good, decent tone, and you can play as soft as you want. Simple. It doesn't always need to be loud. You can practice quietly as well. And in fact, it's very important to do that. In your ears, you're gonna sound very bad to begin with, and that is natural. Nobody, nobody in the world sounds perfect on the first time they play trumpet. It's gonna sound a little bit like doggy doo-doo, but that's okay. That's the point of why we're doing this. That's the point of practicing. So keep at it. That sound is gonna come with practice and time. Be patient. It's coming, I promise. Trumpets are directional in their sound, which means that wherever you point this bell, that's where the sound is going to go. So when you're playing, you've got to aim in the direction you want people to hear. That's what trumpets are like, but it's also the same with trombones, but not euphonium or tuba, or French horn for that matter. It's a, that's a different video. Another thing that I need to mention is you're going to get frustrated when you practice. It's very common to do that. And it, what will happen is you'll be playing something, you know, trying it a thousand times and you're just getting angrier and angrier. You're gonna start tightening up and just, Ugh! you're gonna get frustrated. But what you need to do when you start to get frustrated, <sighs> take a breath and take a break. The trumpet will be there when you come back, but you will never be able to create good sound or progress in your trumpet playing if you're frustrated. So my recommendation is stand up, go, Step out of the practice room or your bedroom or whatever, get yourself a, like a coffee, hot cocoa, whatever, you know, drink some water, what, a, drink water. And you will feel so much better when you come back to try it again. Never put away your trumpet when you're done playing angry or frustrated because that bad vibes, that bad feeling is gonna come back when you pick up that trumpet again. Instead, always end on a note that you feel good on. And if you get frustrated, take a walk. If you like trumpet, if you like playing, I really, really, really suggest to get a private teacher. Private teachers, they will show you exactly what needs to be done for you in that exact moment. They might contradict some things I might say in this video, and that's okay. They know what they're doing. So please, if I really implore you, it's crucial to get a private teacher. If you really enjoy this and you really wanna get better at it, they will be the biggest resource you could ever have in playing. So next time one of your friends says, How do I play the trumpet? Slap them with your damp loincloth and... Share this video with them if you like. And also while you're at it, why not comment or subscribe? And you know what? Also, like this video. If you really did enjoy it, I would really appreciate a good like. You know what? In fact, for each like that I get, I will post a video of me tonguing the number of likes in rapid succession, like if I get like, I don't know, let's say 10, I'd go da -da 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 -da, and play it on the trumpet. But hopefully you won't guys are gonna go too far because it's gonna get rolled by real quick. But I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoy it, please, please let me know. And uh, thank you and have a, have a, have a